Good afternoon. We are headed into Disney Springs right now. The other day we went to Magic Kingdom and it ended up we had to cut our day a little bit short so it didn't turn out being a full video. So while we're going through a temperature check here at Disney Springs, you guys get to enjoy our day at Magic Kingdom. We'll see you in a bit. Good afternoon and welcome to the parking lot of the Magic Kingdom. We're in the TTC parking lot. Yeah. Headed into the Magic Kingdom. Uh, well, we don't have any plans. It is literally the perfect day. Yeah. The weather is so nice. Like it's not hot. It's not too cold. It's like not super sunny. I don't even need my sunglasses. I'm so excited to be here today. This is great. Yeah. Should be fun. I don't think it's going to rain. We don't think so. We brought Fingers umbrellas crossed. just in case. Yeah. Because you never know. It's Florida. But this is like, I'm super, super psyched to be here. Like just, just because of the weather. <laughs> yeah. That's all it was. Yeah. It was like, weather's good. Let's go to the Magic Kingdom. Yeah. We had reservations beforehand, but still excited as we're headed into the ttc we're going underneath this bridge and we go underneath this bridge every time but they just repainted it got some fun colors over here we can see these different colors over this way okay so we just went through security um we're headed down to the ferry now to go over to the park but i get a lot of questions on instagram asking if jackson has to have his temperature taken and he does not no i don't know i think it's i guess i think when it's they... over two is that what it is yeah because if they're wearing a mask i've seen them take temperatures of kids in strollers still okay but not babies. Yeah, so he never, they never uh, question, they never ask or anything like that. They just kind of bypass him and go straight to me and Tim. Yeah. So just wanted to answer that question because I get it a lot. So. Also, we get questions about why Jackson doesn't wear a mask because the CDC does not recommend masks for children under two because of a suffocation risk. Also, it looks like they redid some concrete out here in front of the ferry boat. I wonder why. Oh, we also wanted to mention we're all wearing matching outfits, sort of. Well, <laughs> Halloween outfits. Like Jen and mine match. Mine's from Disneyland though. I don't think yours is. Yours is from Walt Disney World, but mine's from Disneyland. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh. Same shirt, just from different coasts. Huh. And then Jackson's wearing his little pumpkin outfit. Can't really see it because he's all strapped in, but he's a little pumpkin. Jackson, you ready to do it? Here we go. Are you a little pumpkin? So people have this misconception that there are no bugs at Walt Disney World. <laughs> <laughs> so we are now inside of the Magic Kingdom and you can hear they're playing Haunted Mansion music. So they are playing Halloween songs. It's, I like this version. Yeah. It's like a like doo -doo 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 -doo. He's like, it's a harpsichord solo right now. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. I love it. Now we're breaking into the waltz version. This is the remix. We walk in and we've got some characters up on top of the train station. Pretty great. I like that. Buddy, a bunch of people are gonna come down and say hello to you. Are you ready? All your best friends are gonna come and say hi, Jackson. Happy Halloween. He's like, I don't know what's happening yet. <laughs> hello, everyone. Hi. What's this? Hey, y'all. Bye now. Say bye. See you later. Here's a pirate. Oh, here comes a pirate, Jackson. Ooh, a pirate, buddy. Look, there's a pirate. Hello. Say hi. hi there. You're looking at the number one racing champion. Hello. Hi there. <laughs> Say hi, look, buddy, look. <laughs> he, was, he was distracted by the racing champion. He's like, oh no, I gotta see who's the number one racing champion. Ooh, there's oh, there's Donald. No. There comes Donald. Say hi. <laughs> Ooh. You see Donald? Look, there's Donald. Say hi, Donald. He's number one. Hi. There's hi. Minnie. Say hi, and Mickey. Mickey. <laughs> and Pluto. There's Pluto. And Daisy. Hey, Daisy. Everybody blew you kisses, Say buddy. Hi. Oh my god. Hi. 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 Jackson, now there's gonna be some princesses that are coming to see you. Are you excited you see to see everybody? the princesses? Oh my gosh, you got to see everybody. Now all the princesses are here to see you, buddy. What do you think, buddy? What do you think, buddy? Yes. 
still a great feeling walking down Main Street, seeing the Mickey pumpkins on the side of the road. Oh, and now they have the orange, um, like the Halloween balloons are out too. Oh, for sale. I thought yeah. you meant like so decorations. No, no, the ones you can buy. Oh yeah. There are the balloons, the Halloween balloons. I believe they say boo on them. It's got an outline of Mickey. Like a silhouette of Mickey going trick-or-treating. All right, buddy, do you hear that music? That means that Pooh and his friends are coming by. Ooh, they have a lump of loozles, Jackson. Listen to this creepy Halloween music that's playing right now. I like that. Band buddy? I feel like he's very unimpressed. Right? I was impressed. Saying hi, Jackson. They're waving at you, buddy. Say hi to Minnie Mouse, Jackson. And then say hi to Daisy too. Do you see Mickey Mouse point right at you, buddy? Say hi. Say hi, Jackson. Oh, magic windows. Oh, magic windows. I love them. You know we had to get the Constance cake again. Look at all the little Mickeys. Oh yeah. Well, at least one. There's one Mickey right there. I think there's another one over here. Yeah. Yeah. It's it a. Looks good. This one looks a little bit better than the first one. It looks a little bit different this time. It doesn't have the little crunchy, the little crunchy balls on it. Oh yeah. So let's see if it tastes. I'm sure it tastes the same. I got a cookie. I feel like there's way more cake in this one than there was the last time. Doesn't it? Yeah, it looks like more cake. Because there was like a like a le the the like pink layer was bigger last time. Yeah. Buddy. Your buddy Oogie Boogie's coming by again. Are you excited? Yeah. It looks really good. It's a big bite. Just as good as before? So good. Yeah. And it's cool, like it's chilled. Ooh, so nice. it, it just, it feels so nice to eat like cold food right now. This cookie cost me $3.30. Pretty big cookie, but I don't know if it was worth $3.30. <laughs> okay, we had to move, we lost our spot. Pretty good? It's pretty good. Yeah? Kind of tastes like it... Oh, that's good. Gaston. Gaston's just yelling at me. Kind of tastes like it, it has a lot of, like, baking powder in it. Oh. Look, buddy. There's a cavalcade coming, but it's the music for Move It, Shake It, Mouse Could Dance It, right? And it's uh, Halloween time, so who's on this float? Oh, it's the actual Move It, Shake It, Mouse Could Dance It, but it's got Goofy and friends. Kind of a juxtaposition, isn't it? Where all the cavalcades are Halloween, and then this happens. I like Claire Bell's dress. I've never noticed that before. What do you think, Jackson? Unimpressed. He did. He did like when he first saw like the big float. Oh, okay. He, he made a little like. Huh. <laughs> Just a little one though. It's kind of fun riding new rides with Jackson because you have to find the stroller parking. 
Yeah, super fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I parked it right over here. Oh, there's a squirrel trying to get into those strollers. Uh oh. Look at him. He's like going at it. Oh my gosh, what did they find? I don't know. Oh my goodness. He's stealing stuff. Oh no. So I guess number 13. No. Lucky number 13. They're going to be in the front? Yeah. No. Oh. Buddy, we're doing it. We're going to ride this ride. Are you excited? Hey, I'm excited. You just like that we're wearing a seatbelt. He loves straps. That's all that he cares about is the seatbelt. All right, I think it's almost time for us to go, buddy. Enjoy your flight. We've been cleared for Are you ready? Ooh, here we go. Whoa! 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 Oh no, he's spitting already. Oh, we just missed it. Just missed getting spit on. Look at the buddy. Jackson, what do you think? You can see everything from here. Do you see our stroller? Look at everybody. What do you think, buddy? Look at his hair blowing in the wind. Whoa! You want to go down a little bit? No, because the, the... Oh, the, the camel, the camel. The camel. Okay. He's still spitting. He's still spitting. Let's go. Woo! Oh, here we go. Whoa! Oh, no. Is the camel going to get us? No, it turns off. Plus, we're number 13, so we stop right here. Whoa! A bouncy buddy. What did you think? did it. Did you like that? He's like, I don't know, I'm not so sure. So we're over at Tortuga Tavern because I needed to feed him really quick. And this is the most fun he's had all day at Walt Disney World, is banging on the table. And this is what he wanted to do, which is bang on the table. But we could have done this at home. Actually, we do do this at home. Is this your favorite thing to do? Ooh, over here at the spring roll cart, it looks like we've got some social distancing markings. They are prepared for a lot of people waiting for spring rolls. We actually forgot something in the car, so we have to run back out to the car really quick. Uh, we might come back in, we might not. Depends on how we're feeling and how Jackson's feeling once we get to the car. So that was a question that we've gotten before is, if you leave the park, can you come back in? So yeah, so as long as you have a reservation for that day, you can enter into whatever park you had a reservation for, leave, and then go back into the same park that you had a reservation for. You can't park hop but you can go in and out of one park. So we're in the car leaving, and I wanted to show you this lake here in the middle of the parking lot is shaped like a Mickey Mouse. And it's actually that lake over there, which I don't think it's actually shaped like Mickey Mouse anymore. Oh no, just pipes, lots of pipes. But it's supposed to be. I'd be interested to see an aerial view of it currently. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome to Disney Springs now. Yeah. We're meeting some friends for dinner, but we're just gonna, we were a little bit early here, so we're gonna walk around for a little bit. Kind of check out Disney Springs on a Monday night. So it is a holiday, so it might be a little bit busy today. Yeah, we'll see. I'm kind of curious because I don't think we've gone out on like a, a busy a busy day. Yeah. Before, yeah. Outside of Disney style, what do you think? Should we try to poke inside for at least a little bit? I was just looking because the... Um, here, let me get out of the walkway. If you look right in the doorway here, this is some of the stuff that they were selling at Memento Mori, which I thought you could only get in the parks. So oh. I think it's, it's kind of cool that you can come here, not have to pay an admission, and still get cool, like, ride-themed merchandise. Okay. Pretty neat. They always have a giant photo op inside of here. Normally it's the castle, but right now, because it's Halloween time, it's the Haunted Mansion. And they're doing a little ballroom dancing out front. Check out these all-over print shirts for $37. I like this Rescue Rangers one. Kylo Ren one kind of seems like it's making fun of Kylo Ren, right? I feel like this is bringing back memories for me wearing <laughs> biker shorts when I was a kid. I love these. And getting bullied in elementary school because no, of it. Because you're wearing the coolest clothes ever. People I mean, you. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one day our cookie dough food truck will be here and we'll be able to try it. Today is not that day. They are open though, which is nice. Out in front of the candy cauldron, they've got some displays of candy that they make here. Look at this pie rice crispy treat. Oh, that's so cute! Oh, I love that. Yeah, it's just regular Rice Krispie treat though, with orange Rice Krispies. Not a different flavor or anything. No, yeah, but it is like a super cute idea. I like these. I want those. I do too. Um, so we're meeting our friends for dinner, and I feel like I want to eat everything. I'm so hungry. Oh, I know. We have to stop by the ganachery. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I've been trying to uh, be a little bit healthier, and I've been counting my calories. So today, I have a lot of calories saved up for dinner tonight. 
so I feel like I'm gonna go a little bit crazy. Oh no, what are you gonna get? Are you gonna get two desserts? Maybe. Are you? Maybe, you never know. I know for sure, so I looked at the menu. We've been to Boathouse a million times, but I looked at the menu before we, came, before we came because that's just like something that I always do. And I didn't realize that they have a, um, like a traditional strawberry shortcake. So I'm gonna get that for sure. Okay, so maybe we'll split that and then I can get more later well, at the ganachery. We... Oh, okay. But, but do we have to split it? Yeah, <laughs> those are the rules. I don't make them up. You never want to split anything with me until right now. That's what now. I said. You are you are always like, let's split it. But now I don't want to split it. Now I want my own. All right. Well, sorry, I don't make the rules. <laughs> and then you we'll just made split the rule. That was the, You made it. You made the rule. All right. We'll, well split the ganachery. They're no, no, we'll. This third inch big. Yeah. The well, no, no. We're gonna get a pinata at the ganachery. Oh, are we? Yeah, it's huge. It's like this big. Of what? It's a it's a Halloween thing. Yeah. What's in it? More chocolate. Oh, okay. It's a chocolate pinata filled with chocolate. I love a good themed sign. Slow your roll for the Splitsville. But I also wanted to show you that Everglaze has shut down this entire walkway. You can't even go back here because they're doing construction, getting ready to open up a donut shop. We don't know when they're going to open it. it. Just says glazing soon. But here's some examples of the donuts that they're going to have. Look at this one I think is a s'mores, but it's got like golden grams on it. Look at that Oreo one. Ooh, yeah. This looks like Voodoo Donuts, but better. Yeah, look at this peanut butter one. Yes, I'm here for it. Here's a look at the M&M store construction. I mean, it looks like it's gonna be gigantic. Also, I think they added this up here. Do you think it's gonna be a two-story store? Uh, maybe. You never know. Mm, I'm excited, I like M&Ms. Me too. <laughs> so I came down here the Lakers won last night, 106 to, I didn't watch the game, 106 to 93. And that means that they are the, the NBA whatever champions, I know, sports. Um, but I came down here to the NBA store because I wanted to see if they had any, if it was open to sell NBA merchandise, but it's not, it's closed. But they said, go down to the marketplace co-op and we got some NBA merchandise down there. And you know what? They have special, limited edition Disney X Lakers merch for their win. Oh, do they? Yeah. At the co-op? Yeah. Oh. It's not like Mickey Mouse holding the trophy wearing Lakers colors. Oh, really? Yeah. So now, do you think that they had to make both teams? Yeah. So what do they do with the other stuff? They ship it somewhere. Like to, to like people they need. I feel like that's gotta be some real collectible type merchandise. Right. Out in front of the theater here, it says, Soul coming to theaters soon, but it's not. We got news that it's gonna be exclusively on Disney Plus, not going to theaters at all. And it's it's not something that you have to pay extra for. Oh really? Yeah, I think it's just with your, your subscription. That's a good deal. That's what somebody said on Twitter. Wow. I know, I'm excited to see it. Here at Sunglass Icon by Sunglass Hut, out in the window they've got the new Ray-Bans and these are Mickey through the years. $244. Mucho expensive. Yeah, but they're cute. Eh. Not cute. Well, see, here's my issue is, what? they're not always polarized. Like, even though they're the cost of polarized Ray-Bans, uh -huh. they're not polarized. Is it just, you're just paying for the Mickey? You're just paying for this guy right uh -huh. here. All right, we're gonna get like a preview of it before we go to dinner. Well, oh, they're making them right now too. Oh my goodness. There they are, they're making it. And this is it. Look at that. Oh, it's so cute. And the s'mores, too? Oh my gosh. Yes. That's adorable. Yeah, it is. Yeah, look at that. $30. And you get a hammer with it, too. Oh, well, look, they have a, uh, a Millennium Pumpkin. Interesting. Oh, man. Soon, speaking of saving up calories, I'm going to be saving these up for months, because so I'm going to just go to town. These things are a half a pound each. A half pound cookie. The cookie weighs a half a pound. So one of our friends got us some cookies one time from Gideon's from so another- there's, Yeah, there's another location. Yeah, from another location. And it, it took me four times to eat the cookie. Like it was four servings. It was one for me. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> four for me. Oh, there's the sign. There it is. I've been waiting to see one of these signs. It's magical. Yeah, but I have not seen them enforce it. And I've seen a few people not wearing them properly. So right. who knows, you know? But. I like it. It makes me feel good on the inside. It does make me feel good. Oh, also, by the way, live music is back at Disney Springs. Yeah. 
look at this jack-o'-lantern float here at Viva Il Gelato. Looks real good and sounds good too. It's like a creamsicle. An orange creamsicle, my favorite. We are now at the boathouse and we're out on the dock on the water. It's very nice out here. So we're gonna be sitting out here. One of the things that's so interesting about the boathouse is the guy that owns it collects boats and he has them all on display out here. And he has all these crisscrafts too. What do you think, buddy? Do you like boats? He said, Seda. All right. <laughs> Babies, they love eating paper and that's all they need to be entertained is just a piece of paper. What are you gonna have for dinner? He's like, I don't know, let me look, mom. He's like, salmon. Same thing I have every time, mom. Look at him. That's the captain. Whoa. Ah. Oh, oh no. Oh no, you ripped that captain's head right off. The captain. The <laughs> captain. Now he's from Canada. Oh yeah, South Park. <laughs> it's so funny, that mommy is so funny. Oh, oh thank you, are you sharing it with me? Thank you. He's a very good sharer. Yeah, he is. Touching me. Touching you. Sweet kid. <laughs> All right, buddy. We got your food for you. Oh my goodness. So we did the salmon again. This one is um, a lot smaller than the first time, which is fine because he didn't eat it all the first time. Hold on, buddy. And then you got, what is this, the lobster biscuit? It is. So we came here with the Disney Double Dose a long, no, no, no. It, we went and had dinner with them at Bull and Bear and we were talking about how they love lost lobster bisque and how this was one of his favorites. Yeah. And I wanted to try it. I've been wanting to try it since then. So tonight is the night. Oh, buddy. And then we also got a wedge salad to share, and these are Jackson's watermelons. Oh yeah, that's good. Let's see, let's see. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Yeah. I'm kind of sad I didn't get the steak. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got the salmon, and there's some kale and tomatoes and new potatoes. And then I'm still eating this salad, and I don't, we got a lot of stuff over here. Yeah. All right, so we, we're here with our friends. So hello, hi you guys. <laughs> and they were so kind enough as to let us check out their food. So you got the, these are the mahi tacos. Mahi tacos, some calamari, got some popcorn shrimp. Oh, and then the Yacht Club Club is always delicious. Um, that looks really good actually. So it turns out that they don't have the dessert anymore that we were looking at online. So we didn't get any dessert here. We're no. gonna go over to the ganache and get that pinata though. Oh my goodness. Uh, the crowd got uh, much, much larger while we were eating dinner. Wow. All right, so we came to the ganachery, and uh, we should have just gotten it earlier because the line now is past Art of Shaving down there to get into the ganachery. Very popular place. The strolling piano is still strolling around Disney Springs, but she's got a plexiglass barrier up. I like it. <laughs> I'd like to know how she drives it or does somebody else drive it for her? Oh my goodness, there's a line for Amorettes too. This is my first time being here at night and there's just like lines everywhere. All right, so we didn't ever find any dessert, but we are headed home now. Jackson's got to get to sleep. It was a good night. It was so much fun. I think that Disney Springs is one of my favorite places to meet up with friends. Yeah. Because there's so much to see and do and eat here. But it did get a little bit very, very crowded at the oh, end of the night. Yeah, it was it was honestly like a little bit worrisome at the end of the night. We haven't been going to Disney Springs at night. We've been leaving like around probably like five, four or five. Yeah. So it got like pretty busy. Yeah, like shoulder to shoulder. Yeah. Busier than I've ever any place that I've been recently. Alright, we are back home. Fantastic trip out to Disney Springs. It did get a little bit crowded at the end there which I, we didn't even realize was happening because as we were eating dinner, it happened. It felt a little bit crowded when we first got there, but it felt there was like room still. And then when we finished dinner and we were leaving, which turned out to be around eight o'clock at night, packed to the gills, like a normal Saturday night at Disney Springs, not during a pandemic. It was strange. It was very strange. Um, but yeah, and then also the little bit from Magic Kingdom, super fun to watch Jackson watching the cavalcades. We had a great day. Great day at Magic Kingdom, great day at Disney Springs. 
great dinner. So, all in all, fantastic day. With that being said, we are off. We'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to help. So because October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, the organization that we would like to shine a spotlight on today is The Rose, a Houston, Texas-based organization. The mission of The Rose is to reduce deaths from breast cancer by providing screening, diagnosis, and access to treatment to women regardless of their ability to pay. The Rose provides more than 70,000 services annually throughout Southeast Texas. We really appreciate the work that they're doing, and if you guys know of any other organizations that are for breast cancer awareness that are state specific, please leave them in the comment section down below because it could save a life. And if you're interested in finding out more about what the Rose does to prevent breast cancer and learn a little bit more about the organization, we'll leave a link in the description down below. And thank you guys for watching this video.